Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight, I've got an oldie for us. We've got Shatter. This was uh, released on the Dread X Collection 1 back in 2020 uh, as part of an effort to help doctors. Uh, there was some charity element to however many they sold. There was some, uh, some amount went to doctors uh, during the pandemic. Um I first played this back in 2020. Uh, the devs, uh, lovely hell place have a new game out, uh, called, uh, dread delusion, which Akira Kuma has also worked on. Uh, so I figured that we would play through shatter first and then we will go through and play dread delusion next. And hopefully that will be a good week for us. All right, there we go. Let's start. Would you guys be interested in me going back and playing through the old Dread X collection games? Because I played through some of um, some of the hunts on stream, and then I posted that video, and I played through some of uh, no, I played through all of Dread X Collection Five uh, on YouTube. Uh, would that be something that you guys would be interested in seeing? Because I could do that. I love the aesthetic of the sky here. That's so cool. The pinks, the greens, it's all very, very well put together. What's up? Well, this is a surprise. New faces are rare enough, but looks like you've got no neurals. None at all. You know the gods rule everything outside London, right? Without neural access, you'll be dead before morning. Help him? You gotta be crazy. This one? I'll tell you what. Down the hill, there's a town. Uh, if you can even call it that. If you find any neurals there, I'll configure them for you. But just so we're clear, you'll owe me. Alright, just down the hill. What's this over here? It's a door. Locked. This door is unlocked with a terminal. So you've got to find the neurals and then it'll unlock that door, I'm assuming. We can run. That's a good sign. Uh, you don't do anything. Flashlight, a simple torch. Press E to turn on and off. Like most tech in Britain, this is a battered old thing, clearly repaired by many different hands over the years. Uh, should we have a gas mask on? It seems like we should probably have a gas mask on. I love how fallout this town is. Without the Morrigan, we'd all be dead. The government don't give two shits about us. These are hard times. There's so much bioterrorism floating around. Without divine nanotech, our crops would fail and we'd starve. If we didn't die from some hacker's virus first. I realize that these are British and I should be doing a British voice. I just haven't for some reason. I don't even remember if I have a good British voice. Our town's been loyal to Morrigan since the world winter. We help nurture its fairy larvae and maturity. In return, we're given some of the most useful biotech in Britain. We're willing to trade some if you've got the larvae. You can find it all over the place, but only if you're connected to the network. Larvae is really just data, after all. Neural implants to increase stamina cost six larvae. You don't have enough larvae. Oh, I used up all my stamina. You look like a thing.
Neural implant. To install this, take it to the girl in the ruined church. A neural implant is a vial of hormones, enzymes, and nano, nanorobotics. It can modify a person's brain chemistry to access the augmented reality network. Britain is backwater country with woefully inadequate network infrastructure. Rogue AIs wander the digital realm, largely unchecked by the government. It's nice that your stamina uh, regenerates while you're reading stuff. I thought my escape from London would be euphoric. For 30 years, I've toiled in that dreary hell. Following the loudspeaker orders doing my duty, they said the countryside was nearly decontaminated, that we would be moving back to paradise of green rolling hills. But this place is a wasteland. The local town, if you can call that cluster of crumbling brick walls a town, were kind, at least. They gave me some biotech, which I'm obviously not going to use. Some pagan nonsense about gods. If I could only get out of the country, make it to Nigeria or Abuju... Abuja or Lagos. I'll leave in the morning. Head to the coast. Uh. I hope that they had a fruitful adventure. You can just jump down here, right? Nope. Nope. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Why? I think that that tower there is where the game ends, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've played it. Can I buy some more stamina, please? Well, looks like you found a neural ink injector. The right hormone config will get you on grid. Wrong one will brick your brain. So give it here and stay fucking still, unless you want the mental capacity of a turnip. Your brain has been configured to access the augmented reality network. In the metropolises of Abuja and Tokyo, this would mean a world of seamless capitalist integration. But in backwater Britain, outdated network infrastructure is ruled by rogue AIs, worshipped as gods. And there. Done. If you see any weird shit, like giant pink insects and stuff, don't worry. They're just our AI overlords. Winky face. This had better be worth it. Uh, so like that thing. Or this thing. All right, so I think that we need to collect some larvae. Uh, excuse me. Can I pet you? I can't. Okay. You can open doors connected to the network. Just be careful. There's some government pigs lurking past town. Don't let them give any trouble, though. The Morgan is the real power here, and they know it. Save. I don't know if you can die in this game, but better safe than sorry. Where are these larvae? Fairy larva, a premature form of fairy, often traded as currency. To create its successor, a fairy will coalesce raw network data into larva. Fairy applications are loyal to a certain god, executing commands as needed. They also display fondness for humans if nurtured in society, so their larvae is valuable. You want to go talk to God? Hi there.
Primate, your presence was predicted by Bridget and her div divination algorithms. You are vertebrae of special interest to us. Your arrival coincides with the birth of a divine pupa, a new god. Coincidence is statistically irrelevant, though we admit a curiosity for such irregularities. A test. We ask this primate to locate the divine pupa in the other world and return it to us. Our servants have left you a key. You will need it. Okay. An old key to a nearby ruin. As Britain's wealth declined, so did its population, succumbing to genetically engineered diseases, starvation, or migration. Many old buildings were sealed up to rot. So my girlfriend has a Nebula subscription, so, so I just watched the video from... Is it Tom Nicholas? About how Britain is going bankrupt. Cities in Britain are going bankrupt. Is there another larvae up here now? I mean, I guess there's not, but I want to check it anyway. We also watched the um, new Philosophy 2 videos yesterday. There's not, okay. All right, so we have a key. We need to go. has been unlocked. All right. New area unlocked. I believe... Nope. I was going to say it looked like a larva, but it's just another of the fly thingies. Hello. Okay, hold it right there. This here is a government checkpoint. You too thick to know what that means? It means fuck off. Unless, of course, you fancy giving the corporal something they can spend back in London, eh? None of this larva crap. Real money. Or fuck off. If you want to get through, speak with the corporal. All right. Let's go find some money. That's a larva. All right, so we've got two out of six. Old money, paper currency bearing the insignia of ancient dead empire. For those trapped under government rule in London, this is the only accepted currency, though there is little to spend it on, as luxury goods from Asia or Africa are rarely imported. Joseph is sick. He's delirious with fever, and his skin bloats with strange boils that twist into a spiral pattern, pattern and bloom into vibrant colors. There is no nut... This is no natural disease. Tiny specks form the letters JJ on his neck. It must be the calling card of the fucker who engineered it. We've abided by government regulations all this time. We give the soldiers their tithe, plus whatever else they ask for. But still, they won't give us the medicine. Tomorrow I'm taking Joseph to the Morrigan. I won't call that thing a god, it's just data, but so is our DNA. So is this virus. It's our last hope. So 
there anything back here? It doesn't look like it. Let's go give the corporal his money. So you watched the video on uh, Judith Butler, um, and I'd read Gender Trouble back in my master's practicum, uh, but I haven't really read any Butler since then. So it was interesting hearing the, the kind of uh, bibliography that Butler's gone through uh, since the last time I read them. Yeah, this is the stuff. Still even smells of coke. I'm a man of my word. We'll let you through. So go on then. Piss off. I'm interested in reading Who's Afraid of Gender. Uh, it seemed like one of those... Um, one of those works that just kind of captures the moment. You guys understand. There was something last year, two years ago, three years ago. What is time anymore? Um, where I saw that Judith Butler called uh, TERFs, uh, gender fascists or something similar. And the newspaper removed that section of the, the article. Um, and that was a big to do at the time. The magazine or newspaper, I can't even remember which one. Uh, but I remember like that specific section uh, where Butler called TERFs uh, gender fascists was removed. What does that say? Dra Praise Morgan. Okay, Praise Morgan. Is it Morgan or the Morgan? I figured it was the Morgan, like a title. I really love the colors in this game. Can't go that way. Can't open that. I'll take you. Can we see? Yeah, we have four. Ooh. Suddenly doom. You look cool. I'm assuming I will get hurt if I touch those guys. Divine Cupa, chrysalis of a god, bring this to the Morrigan without leaving the other world. While most larvae will undergo metamorphosis into a fairy, in exceptional circumstances, a god is formed. The pupa, hungry for data, consumes an obscene amount of network resources. For this reason, it can only exist in the other world, an imperfect simulation of reality. So it's like virtual reality Silent Hill? Ah. Ah. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. Go away. This is, uh, pretty intense.
Where's the door? It's over there. Okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hi there. The primate has retrieved the divine pupa. Normally a fairy would retrieve such a precious entity. I was mocked by the other gods for sending a primate. Yet you succeed without being slain. You are a noteworthy vertebra. The divine pupa you brought will soon mature. It will likely become a minor deity, little more than a fairy. But a single anomalous simulation predicted something exceptional, a near omnipotent god that could reshape Britain as it wished. And as young gods possess a rational affection for those who have helped them, this would make you a vertebra of excep exceptional significance. This interaction has provided us with much data, primate, but now it is time for you to leave. It is exceedingly probable we will meet again. Shatter, a game by Lovely Hellplace. So I missed three of the, um, the vertebra. Game designed by James Rag. <laughs> the Santa hat. Music by Daniel Staley. Special thanks to Dreadx Collection team and the Haunted PS1 community, including Briogan Hackett and Modus Ponin for their tech. And a special thanks to all lovely Help Place patrons. All right, that's it for this game. Um, let's move back here. Yeah, I really liked that when I played it before. It left a good impression on me. Um, I remember uh, just kind of being uh, infatuated with the, the visuals of it. Um, it was very well put together. Uh, the way that it shifts into the other world and the music changes, uh, the way the enemies have that like Silent Hillish uh, static to them. Uh, all of it seemed very well done. Um, and I remember having like, kind of a fond memory of it. And I think it still holds up today. Like it's super short. It's only about 20 minutes. Um, maybe a little bit more if you go and find the other, uh, the other, uh, larvae, um, and get the upgrade and all that stuff. Uh, I'm sure that there's more to it, but that's the, the A to Z of the game. Um, and so I'm going to end the video here and tomorrow I'm going to be back with, uh, dread delusion, the new game from a lovely hell place. Uh, and hopefully th that'll be good in the same way that like uh, uh, Lunacid was good or uh, any of the other action RPGs that I've played. All right. Good night. I love you. Thank you for joining me for another night of strange and spooky games. And I will see you in the next video.